I want to introduce you to Kyle Dooley. He wears many hats. He's a reserve sergeant with Lake St. Louis Police, but he's also director of the NAMI Crisis Intervention Team programs. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Are you ready for the walk on Saturday? Uh, we are absolutely ready for the walk. Yeah, excited to do it. It's our 20th year this year, so a lot of preparation. We're going to have a great time with it. All right, we have several police cars behind us from different jurisdictions. Tell me a little bit about that. We do. We have our friends from Bridgeton, Woodson Terrace, and St. Louis County, uh, just three of the agencies that participate in the Crisis Intervention Team program. So we ask them to come out and, and show support for us in the community and be a part of this great interview that we're doing this morning. Tell us a little bit about how they interact with the Crisis Intervention Team. So NAMI St. Louis, we've been doing CIT since 2003 in the St. Louis area. It is a free program for law enforcement officers. Uh, we've trained about 6,700 officers and the officers go through a 40 hour course, um, teaches them how to respond to calls of individuals in a mental health crisis. So they are um, CIT officers. They help come to our walk every year. Obviously that's why we're here and uh, gain the funds to be able to do the free training. Well, you train officers. Some officers have a, uh, have a full-time officer. Some have a liaison. St. Louis County has an entire team. Uh, tell me about the value first for the people they may interact with who are having mental health crises. The main difference for a CIT officer than just a road officer without the training is the knowledge of the resources that are out there. So when they interact with someone in a mental health crisis, they know where to take that person to help get them connected to services and hopefully keep them out of our criminal justice system. Because that's ultimately the goal is to help people with mental illness get better and not to have them incarcerated for crimes. And, you know, maybe we could have helped it and stop that behavior through a mental health uh, help instead. We've talked in the past at past walks about also um, increasing the chances for survivability for that person as well as the officers. How does this training help to forward that? So what we have noticed is there's been a 70% decrease of injury for individuals who have a crisis um, and also a 70% decrease of officers injured when they respond to the people in crisis. So officers are learning to slow down, take their time, assess the situation a little bit better and get that person the help that they really need, which is why they're there to start with, is to help people. Let's say if there is a, a citizen who is in a jurisdiction, they want to know if their uh, department has this service for people who are in mental health crisis, how can they reach out to you and to possibly arrange some training? Yeah, absolutely. They can pull my contact information off our NAMI STL website. Um, NAMISTL.org is our website. My information's on there. The Crisis Intervention Team page is on there. They can also reach out to the dispatch center uh, of their agencies and ask their police department if they have CIT trained officers. Uh, I will tell you, every police department in St. Louis County, St. Charles Lincoln Warren, Franklin Jefferson, St. Louis County, St. Louis City, all have crisis intervention team officers. All right, everybody, well, the NAMI walks, and it's gonna look like a mutual aid response out there. You're gonna see all kinds of officers, and you can ask all kinds of questions. It'll be Saturday, May 14th at 9 a.m. in Creve Corps Park in Maryland Heights. We will have a link at fox2now.com, and I will see you there, because I will be your MC. Thank you so much, it's thank always you. good to see you. Yeah, thank you so much you for bringing, too. and also thank you to all the different departments for bringing out all this hardware and their officers.